Okay, you're right. Welcome to solving word problems by using equations. What you'll need to do is you'll need to write this in your theory or your grid book wherever you write it. We need the word or the heading solving word problems underlined or in red pen. You need the following statement. Equations can be used to solve many everyday puzzles and problems. We must write the problem as an equation and then solve it by backtracking or doing the same thing to both sides. So, so far guys, we've looked at equations. We've looked at equations with pronumerals on both sides. We've looked at doing the same thing to both sides. We've looked at equations with grouping. We've, looking at, we've looked at how to substitute and check our solutions. And now we're getting on to more complicated things. Now you guys are going to actually be making your very own equations based on a scenario that you're given. So there are five steps, okay? There's five steps involved, guys, in solving word problems. You also need to write this down in your book, okay? I've done it in a different color to make sure you can read this clearly. There are five steps. The first step when solving word problems is to read the question carefully. You need to pick out the important information and the important facts in the question. Then the second part is to turn the information into equation. The third step is to simplify that equation and then solve it. The fourth is to check our solution. And the fifth is to write our answers in words. So there's this five clear steps that we need to perform when solving word problems. So our first example here says, Sarah is three years older than her brother Jason. So we don't know Sarah's age and we don't know Jason's age, okay? But Sarah is three years older than her brother Jason. If the sum of their ages is 35, then how old is Sarah? The important facts here, guys, step one. The important facts here are is Sarah is three years older than Jason, okay? I won't write step one because this is usually the stuff you can write down or do in your head. So Sarah is three years older than Jason. Sarah's age plus Jason's age equals 35. So now, step two, we need to turn this information into an equation. We're asked to find Sarah's age. Okay, we don't know what Sarah's age is. That is our unknown. We'll call it X because, you know, we're a big fan of using X. Okay, we will call Sarah's age X. That's the unknown. So... Jason is younger by three years, three years younger than Sarah. So Jason's age is X minus three. Okay, so Sarah's age is X. Jason's is three years younger than Sarah, so he's X minus three. And we know, the third thing, we know when we add their two ages together, so we perform an addition. When we add their two ages together, it equals 35. Okay, so when we add Sarah and Jason's ages together, we get told that the sum of their ages is 35. As it says there, guys, sum of their ages is 35. So our equation becomes x plus x minus 3 is 35. Now we can simplify that. x plus x is 2x. So if I had x plus x plus x, that would be 3x. Okay, so we've just added the x's together. We've got two x's, x plus x, so that's 2x minus 3 is 35. Now you guys can see it's a really simple equation. So 2x minus 3 is 35, 2x add 3 to that side, add 3 to that side to cancel it out, that gets cancelled out, 2x equals 38, 2x divided by 2, we're doing the inverse, divided by 2, we'll start over here, x equals 19. Step 5, we need to check our solution. So if Sarah's age is 19 and Jason would be three years younger, that would be, let's just do a quick scrap working out. 19 plus 3 less than 19, 16 equals, add those two together, 35. 35, yes, correct. Which is in line, guys, 
with our original answer. So we've done it correctly. Step five, we need to actually write out. It's a word problem, so we're asked to solve it. So we need to write out Sarah's... Sarah is 19 years old. So we got asked a word problem, okay? We have to solve it. I'll put that in a different color for you. We have to write it, guys. If it's a word problem, we have to write a word answer. So the final step, step five, Sarah is 19 years old. Let's go over the steps there again. First thing, looking carefully at the question, reading it carefully, picking out Sarah, three years older than her brother Jason. Okay, we need to find out how old Sarah is. Sarah's age is our unknown. Working out what the total is on the other side, 35. Working out that Sarah's age is X, and if she's three years older than her brother, Jason is X minus 3. Second thing, turning that into an equation. And simpl yeah, sorry, turning it into an equation is the second step. The third step is simplifying it. Okay, step four, we've checked our solution over here. Okay, and finally step five, we've written out the answer as a word problem. Next example here, guys. Terry is seven centimeters shorter than Jacinta. If their total height is 291 centimeters, how tall is Jacinta? So let's read that again. It says, Terry is seven centimeters shorter than Jacinta. If their total height is 291 centimeters, how tall is Jacinta? So again, guys, you might recognize this. This is really similar to the one we just did there. Key information. Terry is seven centimeters shorter than Jacinta. We're looking to work out how tall Jacinta is. Both of their heights together equal 291. We want to know how tall Jacinta is. Jacinta is our unknown, so she is X. Okay, that's Jacinta. Terry is seven centimeters shorter than Jacinta. So she's Jacinta's height, which is X, minus 7. Okay, their total height, if we add those two together, is 291. See what I've done there, guys? I've taken Jacinta's height. I've put it as X. We get told that Terry is 7 centimeters shorter than Jacinta. So she's X minus 7. Okay, then I'm told if you add their heights together, so I've plus those together, it equals 291. Guys, it's just practice which will make perfect. So again, we simplify this. X plus X is 2X. Minus 7 equals 291. Again, this is really simple, guys. It's a matter of solving it. 2X. We've plus 7 on this side. We, oh, sorry, we've subtracted 7. What's Mr. Corsi doing? We've subtracted 7 on that side. Okay, we need to add 7 in order to cancel it out. Add 7 to this side as well. So 2x, they cancel each other out, equals 298. 291 plus 7 is 298. Okay, 2x divided by 2. We're doing the inverse now, guys. 2x divided by 2. x equals 298 divided by 2. 149 centimetres. Okay, excellent. What do we need to do in order... That, sorry, that's step 1. We've read the question carefully. Step two, we've turned our information into an equation, okay? Step two here, we've turned our information into an equation. Step three, we've simplified the equation and solved it. Now, we're up to step four. We need to check our solution. So when we're checking the solution, we're actually playing around with the numbers. So, we've worked out Jacinta's height. She's 149. We're going to use the scrap paper over here. She's 149, okay? If Terry is 7 centimeters shorter than Jacinta, she will be 142, because that's 149 minus 7. 149 plus 142, 291. Okay, same as our answer here, which means we've done it correctly. Step 5, we have to write our answer as a worded problem. So, Jacinta is... 149 centimeters. That's our word of problem, okay? We've been given the question. We have answered it as a word. That's step five. Jacinta is 149 centimeters. 
This is a harder one, guys. This is the trickiest one. This is why I've put it in here. This is going to take you a long time to get. Step one, read the question carefully and pull out the important facts. In a mathematics test, Jew scored twice as many marks as Paul. So Jew scored twice as many marks as Paul, but three marks less than Kate. Okay? Paul is our base. Okay? Jew, Jew scored twice as many marks as Paul, so Jew scored 2x. Okay? Twice as many marks as Paul. Okay? Paul, he's going to be x. Okay? He's our unknown. Okay? Kate. Kate, uh, we don't know what Kate scored, but we know that Jew scored three less than Kate. Okay? So it would be 2x. Sorry, we know how much Kate scored. If Jew scored three less than Kate, Kate must therefore have scored three more than Jew. I'll say that again. If Jew scored three marks less than Kate, Kate must have scored three marks more than Jew. It makes the same sense, okay? So if Jew's looking at his, score, his test paper, he's going, oh, I scored three marks less than Kate. Kate, at the same time, would be looking at her test paper and saying, I scored three marks more than Jew. So Kate's score was 2x plus 3. Okay? So, 2x plus 3. Two x plus three. That's Kate's score. This is Jew. This is Paul. This is Kate. Okay. Jew scored twice as many as Paul, so he's on two x. Paul's on x. Okay. We get to no more than Paul, except the Jew scored twice as many as him. Okay. And he scored three marks less than Kate, so Kate must have therefore scored the same as Jew, which is twice as Paul, twice as much as Paul plus three. And we're told all together these guys have 178. That's their total of marks. So the very first thing we need to do is simplify the equation. We've got 2x plus x plus 2x. 5x plus 3 equals 178. Okay. When we're isolating this equation, what we will be ending up with is x. Okay. That's the number we'll be ending up with. Whose mark does that reflect? That reflects our mate Paul's mark here, okay? Because Paul is X. So make sure, if you want when you're doing this, maybe even writing a little P here, writing a K there and writing a D there, so you know whose mark is reflected in what part of the equation. So 5X plus 3 is 178. 5X, therefore, equals subtract 3 from this side to cancel it out, subtract 3 from this side to cancel it out. So it equals 175. So that gets cancelled out. 178 minus 3 is 175. Okay? Divided by 5. Divided by 5. X equals 35. So, guys, that is what Paul scored. Paul scored 35. Okay? That's, we know that that's Paul's score. Okay? Let's check our solution. If Paul scored 35, we'll go over here. Paul scored 35. Okay, Jew scored twice as much as Paul. So Jew would have scored 70. Okay, then he scored three marks less than Kate. So Kate would have scored three marks more than Jew, which means she would have been on 73. Add those all together. 35 plus 70. Okay, it's 105. Okay, 105 plus 73. Dun, 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 dun. 178. Okay, so how much did each one score? This is when we need to write our answer as a worded problem. Jew scored 70. Paul scored 35. And Kate scored how much did I say Kate scored? Kate scored 73. That's their marks. 
that was a hard one guys that was probably the hardest one that we've done so far but did you see what I did there clear steps okay picked out the main parts of the equation worked out that Paul was X Jew scored twice as many as Paul so he scored 2x he said but Kate scored three more than Jew so she was 2x plus three that was step one okay step two I went in and I simplified guys so this was step one here step two here I went in and simplified I went 2x plus 2x plus x is 5x 2 4 and you know x is the same as 1x so 5x then I solved the equation okay I simplified it and solved it here step four I checked my solution so step three is here solving the equation step four checking my solution step five writing it down my answer in words